Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped, and welcome to Wallingford in Oxfordshire. Now, a couple of months ago, I got an email from a guy called Ben, who runs the Car Vault Company, who are based in that building behind me, inviting me here today to drive something really special, a very special BMW. I did actually film with a very similar car a couple of months ago, but this one, this is original. And the last time I drove one, it had been turned into an electric car and not many of you liked it. So in here behind those doors is an original BMW 3 litre CSL. Oh yeah. Very nice. Welcome to the Car Vault Company and welcome to the BMW 3 litre CSL. Hopefully by now you have seen the film I made with the silver Batmobile homage car that we converted on vintage voltage that went up for sale at Bonhams during Festival of Speed. I have a big soft spot in my heart for that car. I saw it go all the way through when it arrived first of all at Electric Classic Cars as a very sorry, very shabby car all the way up to a beautiful, beautiful restoration. And I put that video out and lots of you would appreciate the car, but I think the fact that it had been turned into an electric car upset quite a few people. But also there were a few comments about the, the garish styling of the Batmobile with the big wing on the back. Now, a couple of things. This, this is an original CSL, not an homage. So remember the CSL, L standing for lightweight, was a lightweight version. Now, globally, they sold just over 12,000 of those, but what makes this car special is this is a right-hand drive UK version, and it's in what's called the City Pack. You will notice there are no big gearing wings on the back of the car, and there's no big air dam on the front. It's much more subtle. It's also got a little bit more soundproofing. It's got electric windows rather than wind-up ones, so it weighs a little bit more but much more stylish. And there were only ever 500 of the UK city pack cars. And this car in golf yellow, I think just looks amazing. Now we're going to take it for a drive very shortly. And I'm going to get Ben on camera because he knows an awful lot more about this car than I do. But for me, I think this is perhaps one of the coolest BMWs ever made. Although I do have to be a bit careful saying that because just in the back of shot over there, is a Z8 and that comes very close second or may maybe it's a first. But yes, let's have a wander around the back and you can kind of appreciate the styling of the rear of the car without the big 1970s wings on it. Now, before we talk about the back of this car, this place is very dangerous because of that 968 Club Sport is absolutely mega. One of my favorite Porsches actually. For anyway, as it happens, I quite liked the big wing Batmobile styling. It's that kind of 1970s touring car, race car vibe. But I can imagine for many people, it was way, way too much. So when you take those wings away, what you're left with for me is a really sleek, beautiful looking car. I think this car from the rear three quarter is an absolutely beautiful thing. And I love little details. There's a lot of chrome work around the windows and uh, down the side. I love the little BMW badges on the side pillar there. It's just a really, really cool thing. Now, this car has an engine in the front. So let's pop the bonnet and talk to you about what's under the front. No Tesla drivetrain in this one. So 
So, underneath here, pretty tricky to open, to be honest, but here we go, is a quite stunning three litre straight six. Now this car was restored a number of years ago and it's in beautiful condition, but what I quite like about it is it's not so completely concourse that you wouldn't want to drive it, but this is just so well presented. Now this is a 73 car, it was actually built in the year of my birth, 1972. I believe these went up a notch to 3.2 litre in 73, but this is a three litre straight six. And it produces around 200 horsepower, which you think, well, you know, it's a big car, 200 horsepower, but get this. This thing weighs about 1200 kilos and it's a four seat family car. <laughs> Just unbelievable. I had the Alpine A110 uh, a couple of weeks ago and that was uh, just over 1,100 kilos. You think, oh my God, and that's made as a, a really lightweight sports car. This is a big saloon car, 1,200 kilos. Absolutely amazing. So beautiful engine. I'm sure it's going to sound great. Cannot wait to experience what that's like to be taken down the road. But let's have a quick look on the inside because the interior of this car is beautiful as well. Oh, wow, it's special in here. Now, I absolutely love the pillarless doors. Um, they give the side profile of the car just a super airy, lightweight touch. I probably wouldn't want to put one of these on its roof, if I'm honest, but absolutely superb. It's a beautiful interior. There's all the wood trim that, if you've seen the car that we did with Moggy, we, we had to basically renovate all of the wood and the veneer in here. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Four instrument dials across, just a big analog speedo and rev counter in front. It's just so cool and retro. Two cigarette uh, lighters, just in case you wanted to have a couple of tabs on the go. It's just cool. It's just, <laughs> it's just cool. What I would say, I mean, but the seats adjusted for my legs to get the right pedal position, but you need quite long arms because these bucket seats drop you right back. But I think the next thing we need to do is get some cameras set up and get Ben to take us out and see this car and just experience it on the road because right now I'm kind of falling in love with it if I'm honest. It's just so cool. <laughs> Sounds really good. Now the new tube. This gentleman beside me is responsible for the invite today. Ben, welcome to the channel, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, this thing's magical, and yeah. we've driven it about half a mile. Just got going, and uh, haven't even really opened it up yet. It's when you no. get it high into the rev range, and uh, that yeah, that straight six sounds glorious. Yeah. So let's actually start with a bit about you before we start talking about the car. Sure. Because your background in cars I find really interesting, but there's a really interesting link between your car background yeah. and this car. Yeah, there's a very sweet sentimental reason why I'm particularly attached to this car. But I guess going back, I've uh, had a passion for cars for a long, long time. And uh, I think it really stemmed from my grandfather who, uh, uh, with his brother, opened a, a Ford dealership back in the 70s and uh, a BMW dealership. So back in the 70s in uh, Chipstead in Surrey, uh, Kronk BMW was selling anything from, from these and sort of uh, 2002 TIs of, and just the ultimate sort of BMW driving machines. And for me to be kind of connected to a car like this, which he would have been selling back in time, in period, would have, uh, is very special. And, and going through the, the history folder of this car, I found original invoices from, from Kronk garages where this car was, uh, was worked on at some point. So it's just really uh, nice to, to connect me back to my heritage, I guess. I find that absolutely amazing. Yeah. Just flick, I mean, the history file for this car yeah. is in a big Lever Arts file. It's like that. It's, it's incredible. Fast. Yeah. So tell us a bit about you know, left here actually. If that's, yeah. A bit about this car then. So I've done the kind of basic three-liter CSI thing. Yeah. Just from a driving point of view, by the way, it's got a dog leg 
box. Dog leg so first. Back leg. Takes a bit of getting used to. Very uh, race car esque. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck at the lights and then get it into the wrong gear because no. normally that would be uh, potentially reverse. Now, luckily, I spent some time recently in a GT40 and that had the same thing. Yes, yeah. But it does, it's so that se second and third are. Yeah more easily pliable yeah. when you're racing, right? Yeah, so. it was a sort of motorsport drive car and this was, uh, you know, it was the first uh, car built by the M division um, yeah. in 72. So it is ultimately the first M car ever made, even though it's not referred to as an M car. Yeah. Uh, it is the first M car they made under that division. And yeah, that, that noise, it's a, it's a motorsport engine car, it's a motorsport drive car. So it, it, it does drive and feel the way you would expect. It, a, it drives like a modern car. It's got beautiful steering yeah. already. I mean. Uh, this is a, a very special car yeah. and it's just started spitting with rain. Yeah. So we, we'll we're going to be careful. But, careful. but um, no, it's about 200 horsepower, as you mentioned, I think earlier, and it's uh, about 1200 kilos. So it's a perfect weight balance and uh, yeah. just gives you enough performance. And you can kind of chuck it around. It's, yeah, when it gets a little bit wetter, a bit greasy on the roads, it would be a bit of a, a handful potentially. But yeah. uh, we've got some lovely open country lanes here and it just means that you can kind of really get the most out of, the, out of this car. But, What, this car was restored a few years ago, but you've, yes, you've so, kind of done a few bits on it just to bring it up to sales. Yeah, standard. exactly. It's a nice example that's been fully restored back in sort of 2015 to 2017. Um, Munich Legends had the car, very well known BMW specialist, um, and so they, you know, it's been looked after by the right people, done uh, all the right things that have been done to it. So it's just uh, ready to be enjoyed. Um, as you mentioned before, we've got it up for sale, um, so it's uh, just very much uh, what you'd want if you're going to get into. A classic BMW and the iconic sort of E9 uh, CL cell shape. I think this is a lovely example, as you said before, that has been restored, but not overly so where you wouldn't want to get in and drive it because it's no. uh, uh, like we're driving it in the exactly, rain. Exactly, driving it in the rain. <laughs> that wasn't actually. the plan. It was sunny while we were filming. <laughs> yeah. So the, the the weather conditions have now meant obviously I'm not going to be. Uh, uh, yeah, giving you a good spanking. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. It, it, it's not the kind of car that you, you necessarily want to do that, but it, it kind of, in a way, wants you to though, because it's a motorsport-derived car. Yeah, right? it, it's very quick revving. It's very responsive. Sharp steering. Uh, just being the, the city pack car does have power steering, which just helps with manoeuvring around town. But it, it, yeah, it obviously likes to be driven hard. Um, but I think it gives you the best of both worlds, where you yeah. could commute around the city if you wanted to, uh, or you could just use it on a lovely country day when the weather is good and uh, really give it the beans. But, yeah. So this car's for sale? It is, yeah. Because, so let's talk a bit about Car Vault Co then. So you yeah. you do a bit of selling and a bit of storage by the looks of it. Yeah, I guess we consider ourselves a brokerage of uh, sort of fine classic and collector cars. Uh, started um, two years ago, but I've been in the uh, industry my whole life reasons leaving school. So I've worked from auction companies, restoration companies, and done a bit of everything really to, to get me to the point where I've decided to open my own business. and. Uh, really ha kind of hold the hands of, uh, of sellers of these lovely cars and help introduce them to the new hands of, uh, of buyers and yeah try and place these cars into the right collections and the right hands yeah so uh, we uh, met the owner of this car just a couple of months ago actually um, he's had it for about six years and uh, he's definitely enjoyed it but it's uh, ready to find its new home so we've taken the uh, taken on the challenge of um, yeah getting all the pictures done getting all the marketing done doing the research into the history and just really identifying the key standout points of this car, but it is so nice. It's in the original paint color, obviously restored, but just using the original uh, color, original interior. Everything's been done exactly how it would have been uh, back in 1972 when it was made. Very lucky. I know yeah. I've said it already. It, it, it just drives like a modern day car. I mean, it's, it's power steering, the gearbox is yeah. lovely. It's got a, a pretty heavy clutch on it. But does yeah that's that's fine it's uh, something Lovely. to get used to it's not like you know you wouldn't want to hop out of a electric uh, car Tesla or something and then suddenly get to one of these you need to need to adjust to it but it is very drivable and uh, for a classic car for a car of the 70s I think is um, remarkably quick and will keep up with modern traffic very easily so it, considering, it's, opportunity. considering it's the same age as me it's <laughs> showing its age better than I am uh, I wouldn't <laughs> say that but uh, it's certainly probably the more collectible version <laughs> yeah that's right yeah um, no, it's, uh, we're very lucky to have this car in uh, amongst the lovely, wonderful stock which you've seen oh, as well. Oh, mate, you've got that Z8 thing yeah, of beauty. Yeah, that's uh, quite a special thing And as interestingly, well. I kind of referred to it earlier on in the video, the, yeah. the, these two, for me, are up there with 
the coolest BMWs ever made. Yeah, I, I guess if you were looking for a sort of BMW car collection, the ultimate collection of BMWs, I think you probably have to have a CSL in there, and you definitely have to have a Z8. I think uh, don't see many on the road. Obviously, they made made a few thousand of them, um, but uh, yeah. So that, just, that Z8, you've got that's that's a a U. A U oh, which it's way a go left, left here, yeah. yeah. So that Z8, yeah, it's a, a US spec car, yeah. um, and it came to the UK in 2014. It's had one previous owner in America, and uh, it's done 7,000 miles. So we, seven thousand. Yeah, seven thousand miles. We kind of actually, I guess, get a bit blasé about it. Used to all these cars with low margins and uh, low, you know, low, low, low owners. But uh, most of the cars we have are all very low owners, very low mileage, kind of collectors' pieces, really. This thing sounds so, magnificent. Yeah, it? it had a little pop coming into that. that yeah, it does have nice little burbles and overrun, and uh, it's once you really get it onto the. Uh, sort of 6,000 uh, plus rev range yeah. it does really come on song and I, I wish we had better conditions for you today I to know, really give it the I know. I was just about to say I, it, it is actually quite slippy under under yeah. the tyre I'm not going to be taking it up to 6,000 RPM today no maybe not I, but, uh, I have far, far too much uh, respect for this car in terms of value or, or if, if anyone's watching this yes. wanting a CSL, so yep. how much is this going to set them back? So, does sound good, doesn't it? Well, that's five and a half. Yeah, not, not bad, not bad. The not... road looked a little bit more, yeah, uh, exactly. uh, you know, a bit more traction. <laughs> that's beautiful. It does. It's so it, smooth. It picks up, yeah. The straight sixes are always smooth anyway, but yep. what a thing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite remarkable, as you say, against even modern cars, it really holds up. Yeah, yeah, so going so back to how much? <laughs> how much is it? Right, yeah. so it's yours for uh, £145,000 today, we're asking, which uh, for uh, chassis number 195 of 500 UK cars in the uh, arguably sort of iconic shape and, and the, you know, the Golf Yellow I think really stands out. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a bit leery, but it's not too leery. It's still got that sort of road going, guys. Yeah. So how many miles have you got on it? We are on 9,000 miles since the restoration. So I think wow. all in all, with the previous history, it's probably around about 100,000 miles. So it was obviously enjoyed in its early life. Yeah, yeah. But we've got great history, as, as you said before. Um, I think it's got another it. gear. <laughs> I don't want to try and put it in six. It's, uh, it's got four gears, so. Uh, fourth, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're probably in your, one, two, three, fourth. Yes, yeah, probably fourth. fourth gear, yeah. <laughs> I was just about to try try for fifth. Go for fifth, yeah. yeah. You might not find anything, but. What a thing. Yeah. Well, I'll put all the details below of yes. the Car Volco, yeah. but also the link to the advert for this car, if anyone's interested. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful example. I love the colour. Yeah, it's, it's just uh, it's a real standout one. You know, the, the iconic colour I guess is when you see them in the silver with the blue yeah. and red graphics and stuff. This, yeah. this is this is this. Is cool. I think so. It's sort of very much of its time. And the slightly later cars did come with the sort of BMW iconic M, M brand, the the M colours uh, with the stripe down the side, and that is obviously what everyone knows as the M car. But uh, I like that this is a bit understated. That this is more of a a usable car that isn't too flashy yeah um, that's sort of how i would pitch it but no we're very lucky to have it and uh you know get to drive all these different cars and and this would definitely be one i would take to uh on a nice road trip take to a track day maybe and uh, yeah, have yeah. some fun but definitely respect it yeah so guys if you're watching I, I will have already by now put some pictures of some of the cars you've got back there if you want me to come yeah. back <laughs> yeah. and drive anything else which one would you like me to come back and drive <laughs> exactly you're more maybe, than welcome maybe the Z8. <laughs> so, yeah let's get the z8 out and um go off some cobwebs yeah, yeah absolutely well guys uh let me know what you think of this now this this is a proper csl yeah. none of this electric <laughs> stuff going on yeah. <laughs> hopefully we won't have it on going, exactly. it's a beautiful beautiful car um, but mate, thank you so much for the no, invite. You're it's very real, welcome. Thank you for coming when, down. When you get to drive cars as beautiful as this, it's a real honour and a privilege. Yeah. And, and no, well, some we, lucky we like owner's going to gonna enjoy this. Yeah, it's, it's, they're all meant to be driven. They're, they're about being yeah. used. So I love the zip on the gear gates. Yeah. <laughs> the little <laughs> details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrol Bed for plenty more content to come. As I said, I'll put all the details for uh, Car Volt Co and the add for this car in the description below but cheers buddy no problem Thank we'll you very see much. you on the next film you take care cheers. drive safe let me just keep driving for a bit yeah yeah yeah, yeah let's do it <laughs> <laughs> what a car <laughs>